Fatality. Sindel wins. Greetings, and welcome back to Around the Clock. As usual, a very huge shout out goes out to every single one of my subscribers out there, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. And as you all can see in the title of this video, did NetherRealm Studios make YouTube change their violent game policy? Well, we're going to get right into it, because if you all didn't know, ever since Mortal Kombat 11's initial release of April this year in 2019, a lot of content creators here on YouTube were not able to stream a lot of content because of the game's ultra violence. Now, I can't understand a lot of fatalities, like a whole montage of fatalities in the video. I can understand that. But at the same time, some content creators, even if they're just reporting on Mortal Kombat, they get demonetized and their videos get flagged as age restricted. A whole bunch of things come along with this. But since then, it seems like YouTube has changed their minds because as you all can see on screens here, this is the new YouTube violent game policy that has been issued out. And as the title reads, policy enforcement update, real world versus scripted or simulated violence in video games. Heads up for all gaming creators. We know there's a difference between real world violence and scripted or simulated violence, such as what you see in movies, TV shows, or video games. So we want to make sure we're enforcing our violent or graphic content policies consistently. Starting on December 2nd, 2019, scripted or simulated violent content found in video games will be treated the same as other types of scripted content. What does this mean for gaming creators? Well, future gaming uploads that include scripted or simulated violence may be approved instead of being age restricted. Also, there will be fewer restrictions for violence in gaming, but this policy will still maintain our high bar to protect audiences from real world violence. We may still age restrict content if violent or gory imagery is the sole focus of the video. For instance, if the video focuses entirely on the most graphically violent part of the video game. Now, I think this is important everyone because like I stated earlier in this video, a lot of content creators have either changed the way they present their videos or they try to decolorize different parts of the fatalities or the fatal blows just because YouTube age restricts or even demonetizes their videos. So hopefully this changes things. Now everyone, we even have Ed Boon, the man himself, commenting on this matter as you all can see on screens here, he states this. Hopefully this is good news for streamers slash YouTubers who feature M-rated video games. And Ed Boon is commenting to the YouTube gaming official statement that states, Gaming creators, we've heard loud and clear that our policies need to differentiate between real world versus simulated violence, and we're updating our enforcement to reflect that. And there you all have it everyone, YouTube is changing their policies, and hopefully these policies take place immediately. Now everyone, as a bonus in this video, in honor of Sindel being available officially to everyone, not just combat pack owners, NetherRealm Studios has released a brand new overview trailer of Sindel. So with that being said everyone, I'll leave you all with that trailer. I hope you all enjoy and I catch you all in the next video. Sindel, we're <laughs> 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 